we know that the speed of ball thrown upward in air go on decreasing because of earth's gravity speed of ball becomes zero at certain height and then ball start coming downward and speed of ball go on increasing until it hits ground we also know that gravitational force of earth goes on decreasing with distance suppose we throw the ball with velocity that it reaches such distance where earth's gravity doesn't act on it in this case ball continues to travel away from earth in space for throwing a ball outside earth's gravitational field we require minimum velocity this velocity is called as escape velocity the escape velocity of earth is 11.2 km per second neglecting air atmosphere on earth if we throw any object with 11.2 km per second then object escapes earth's gravitational field and then travels in space if we do same thing on moon ball must be thrown by 2.4 km per second velocity to make escape from moon's gravitational field it means escape velocity of moon is 2.4 km per second for sun the escape velocity is 618 km per second more the mass of object in the space more is the escape velocity for the objects with same mass escape velocity is greater for lower size object it means escape velocity of white dwarf of equal mass of sun is greater than sun because radius of white dwarf is much lesser than the sun the escape velocity of white dwarf having mass equal to sun is 6451 km per second the escape velocity of neutron star is 1.5 lakh km per second which is half the speed of light the escape velocity of black hole is greater than 3 lakh km per second which is greater than the speed of light it means light also cannot escape from black hole this is what the black hole this is the object from which light doesn't escape that's why we cannot see the object hence named black hole the value of radius of object at which escape velocity becomes equal to speed of light is called as schwarzschild radius the schwarzschild radius of sun is 3 km it means sun will become black hole if it is compressed to sphere of 3 km radius schwarzschild radius of earth is 9 mm not even 1 cm earth is having 6400 km radius and if it is compressed to small marble size of 9 mm earth will become black hole In 1915 Carl Schwarzschild first time solved Einstein's equation of special relativity which equations were extremely difficult to solve In upcoming theory of general relativity the idea of black hole came on the surface Schwarzschild found the formula for gravity around extremely dense or singular objects It has been proved that no light can escape from an object of specific radius This radius is named as Schwarzschild radius. This equation has obtained from accurate mathematical procedure. In fact, this happens because of infinite bending of the space-time curve by extremely dense objects. Time literally stops at the black hole. According to Einstein's special theory of relativity, no object can travel with speed faster than light. Means no object can escape from black hole. In the sense of thermodynamics, black hole is perfectly black body which absorbs everything fall on it. Around the black hole there is one boundary of no return called as event horizon. Black holes are absolutely very hot and emits radiation named as Hawking radiation which tends to reduction of mass of the black hole according to mass energy equivalence principle E is equal to mc square. In 1784 John Michel and in 1796 Simon Laplace first time proposed idea of black hole They briefly proposed the presence of an extremely massive and dense body that even light could not escape from it. Scientists observed that supermassive black hole exist in the center of galaxies. Black hole are also in various sizes. Major are classified as stellar black hole and supermassive black holes. Stellar size black holes are having masses 25 to few hundred solar mass, but supermassive black holes have mass equal to mass of millions of suns. There are only two properties of black holes. One is rotation and other is mass. In 1963, scientist Kerr used Einstein's equation to prove that black hole are rotating objects. The electrical charge property cannot be possessed by black hole. Therefore, we can say black hole is electrically chargeless rotating massive body. Black hole is basically extremely simple body but physically and mathematically plays vital role in modern astronomy. Black holes gave us proof of gravitational waves in 
GW150914 is the name of first observed gravitational waves. These waves were emerged from binary black hole system when they were fusing together. These objects were 13.4 billion light years away from us. Means they were fused together before 13.4 billion years and the gravitational waves emerged from that incident reached to Earth in 2015. There is one black hole at the center of our galaxy Milky Way named Sagittarius A, which is having mass 4.3 million times the Sun. This is nearest supermassive black hole from us, still we couldn't capture it. On 10 April 2019, a world-spanning network of telescopes called Event Horizon Telescope observed and captured picture of first ever black hole. The captured black hole is situated at the center of Messier 87 galaxy in Virgo supercluster. M87 is around 55 million light years away from us. The M87 black hole is 6.5 billion times massive than Sun. Hot and shining disk of materials that encircles the black hole can be seen clearly. This disk is looking bright from one side and goes fainter to another side. This is because the material coming towards us looks shining and material going away from us look faint. The Event Horizon Telescope is a collection of more than 200 telescopes using an array of observatories scattered around the world. These combined arrays of telescopes make Earth-sized telescope. There are a lot of misconceptions about the black holes. First is, Sun will become a black hole. Fact is, Sun will never become black hole. If Sun is having mass 25 times greater than it is having right now, definitely it would become a black hole. Second, a lot of people think that black holes sucking everything near them or the black holes are the cosmic vacuum cleaners. This is not true at all. They have powerful gravity but it will be affecting any other body when that body come close enough to the black hole. Mass of black hole is its power. Imagine that if we replace the sun by a black hole of equal mass of sun, then the earth along with all other planets and objects would orbit that black hole exactly like as it does now. From 150 million kilometer distance, Earth doesn't need to know Sun is tiny or big object. It only deals with the mass and distance. That's all for today's episode. I hope you found it to be informative. If you have anything to ask, please comment below. Thanks for watching.